It's glad to have you back in Boston. Now, how does it feel from being from Roxbury, where all started from, let's get that right, where all started from, and now you did the news station story is finally here and took 30 years. How do you feel, man? What does it mean to you? What does it mean to me? Um, just to know that we're all still, still um, active in the entertainment field and it's all still relevant. Um, it just feels great, man, just to, you know, be able to watch ourselves um, depicted on, on, on film. How do you feel about your, your uh, actor playing you? Is he really playing you? Is he you got him packed out? You know what? You know what? The one thing, the one thing I was worried about was, was the people that was playing me. I was, you know, kind of concerned because I'm a wild ass, man. I'm a wild boy, but they played me perfectly. They played me perfectly and man, you know, it wasn't like they calmed me down. They just played me, you know. They played me from from the age 14 all the way up to the age, I don't know what age they stopped at. All right, one about you, now. You know the food. You oh, know that's the food. right, that's right, that's right. That's right. That's right. Brownfoods.com. Come on. Um, you know, having this, this, the new edition story in Boston, where it all started, and you kind of part of the, part of this, man. Come on, man. I am so proud of, of everything about this, that, it's, uh, that it puts Boston in a great light, that it shows the guys, and there's no, it's just an American story of like, you know, people who get together, they break apart for different reasons, but it's ultimately about brotherhood, which is a great story for, for everyone, but especially for us, especially for Boston. Puts Boston. They put Boston on the map in a lot of ways with young black youth, and uh, very glad to bring it back here today for the premiere, and it airs on BET on January 24th, starts 24th, 24th, 25th, 26th. It's very excited to have have you back in Boston at the premiere in Boston. Now, what are you doing now? Because you've been doing a lot of different things, and you've been part of the new the, the news. So I'm sorry to give you a part in this. Well, I'm you know tell, technically I'm trying to I'm trying to still get involved with a new edition, <laughs> be part of if it isn't love because I learned the choreography, right. so I figured that no, right, right. no, so no, I'm still I'm still uh, working at BET, uh, president of the programming at BET, and this is the biggest thing we've got coming out. Uh, it was the new edition story coming out. So, and everybody excited. See all the fans here. Yeah, a lot of people came out. A lot of people, Boston comes out and supports. That's the thing. and Because they've always rep Boston. Every, each of them, you hardly ever see them someplace where they're not wearing a Boston Be cap or Patriots or, or, Patriots or right. some kind of gear. So they rep, they rep the bean hard oh, every yeah. time. Yeah. I appreciate it, man. I'm glad you came out. It's always Thank a blessing you. to see you, man. You. Stephen Hill, you. man. Hip-hop real estate, man. Indeed, indeed. Get, let's get, now, we got Phaedra here in the building. What do you think about the movie? I thought it was absolutely amazing. I thought it represented the group tremendously well. It brought back a lot of great memories from the Maury Star Hollywood Talent Night. And I'm just really, truly happy for them to see that they're getting their just due finally. Excellent, excellent. And you know, they didn't hold back at all. And got to give big props to Stephen Hill and BET for putting it all out there. I mean, they invested in it and you could tell it's first class, first rate. But it was, it was great. I'm so proud of them. I'm from Dorchester. I can't wait to see part two and three. Two or three, right? Yes. Mark. I know Bobby Brown personally. I was best friends with his sister Carol. What street you used to live on Orchard Park? <laughs> you said what street? Yeah. Eustace Street. Oh, I thought you said 140. Oh, no way. 128. Oh, I do know you. I, yeah. I didn't know that you to talk to, but I definitely recognize your face. So how do you feel? <laughs> I miss your name. Yeah, you know, it was a proud moment, man. It was The story was good. You know, I mean, everyone's got to see it, man. It's it's surreal. It's so surreal. And you know, I'm proud of the brothers, man. You know what I mean? <laughs> And I, you know, long story short, like what Mike said about the group saving his life, you know what I mean? I, I, I can say the same thing, even though on the outside looking in, you know what I mean? The group still saved my life. When I played your father up on the movie, how'd you feel about that? Was it cool? Yeah, it's cool. It's cool. So, some of the things that, that you see Bob on and, and see, finally seeing the movie played out, how does it, how does it feel? Because you get to talk about every night when he gets up. And how, what do you guys talk about? You know, suppose, you know the, the new edition story is coming out now. Yes, absolutely. Oh, well, he, we love to talk about it. It's super exciting. I mean, just, ex, you know, watching it with him while he's experiencing it is amazing. It really is. I laugh at things. Some of the stories he used to tell me, now I believe him, <laughs> you know? Sometimes I was doubtful, but to see it play out on, this, on the big screen is just, it's amazing. It's really like, 
an emotion you, you've never felt before. It's just, I'm, I'm very honored that he's being honored in such a way. We got more coming. Oh yeah, I can't wait for part night two and night three. Me too, I can't wait for all this thing. And, 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 and I can say, Bob had mentioned uh, earlier in the day that it's so important that we, we lived to see this. Oh yeah, oh it's an amazing feeling that they're all here to witness this. It's a great, it's a great, um, you know, moment in their lives, and I'm glad that they're all alive and able to enjoy this moment because we often see so many people get their accolades once they're gone. You know? Thank you, Alicia Brown. I appreciate your time. Absolutely. Keep doing what you're doing, and I love the family. Yes, I have two new additions. You hear that? Thank you for your time. Appreciate it. It's a beautiful, beautiful story, you know. Um, a, definite, a definite great legacy. I mean, they've been fighting all their lives for this Escalade, and I. I'm so proud of them. Very proud. Yeah. What you think about Orchard Park? How they have it up there? It wasn't the same. It wasn't Orchard Park. I'm sorry. It wasn't Orchard Park. Where they get those green doors from? I don't know where they got. I don't know where they got the buildings from. Really? Right. But, but I looked at it. I first thing I said, I said, that's not Orchard Park. Right, right. <laughs> well, we were close to it enough. Hey, listen. But they had to do what they got to do. Yeah, that's it. You know, I loved it. Right. You know, I loved anything about the uh, new addition. I was there. This is one of the real live Boston Trailblazers. Right. She still to get to live the suit. See this man. Joni so, Henderson Johnson. <laughs> listen, she real talk. They don't make them like this anymore. That's right, at all. <laughs> yeah, someone playing yourself a good actor. Um, did he play you well? He played me excellent. Excellent? Yeah, it was, you know, even the, the casting of it all, when they came with the choice of Wood Harris, because I've known his work and he's such an extraordinary actor, my thing was grab him right now. Right. And his whole job that he done, and you'll see even on the other nights in there, he's just a phenomenal actor. So I felt myself, which, you know, m me and all that is not my thing, not thing right? but I felt like the performance he done and, you know, just his acting, his expressions and just all of that, you know, felt how I felt at the time. So I felt he captured the essence of me or what I felt. When I watch it, I see exactly what I felt. Well, I want to, to say this, man. I, I appreciate you, man, being a mentor for them young kids. That mentor, especially at a young age, and you becoming the manager and helping them guide them away. More importantly, how you had said, you know, it really wasn't about me. It's about them to get them where they need to go. And not too many people do that, so I commend you on that, man, and many blessings to that, man, because you went through your own stuff, but just to see them pushing them up, they ain't them a godsend, bro. Thank you, man. That's real talk, man. That. This is Brooke Payne, man. He's, he's the choreographer, he, I mean, the manager. Because I believe, uh, like I said earlier, is their journey is godsend. Oh, yeah. yeah so, yeah. you know, it would have happened without me because God had them on their all individual journeys. I'm just, uh, it's a pleasure that I was able to be a part of it. Yeah, you was that vessel. Yeah, uh, I'm, I'm happy for that. So listen, y'all stay tuned. Keep it locked. It's Brooke Payne. Thank you for your time, man. Yes, sir. I appreciate it. More love always, man. And I thank you, too, for the opportunities. Thank you. Always, man. Bless. So y'all heard from Brooke Payne, man. Even with him, he still, it would still happen because it's in God's plan and in the journey. So what can I say, man? So, so much stuff to do. New edition, they got, they got a lot of things going on in 2017, man. So y'all better get ready. These guys are still young. They got another 20, 30 years to perform. So y'all going to get all that. So and you're going to get it first from Hip Hop Real Estate. So make sure you go see the series on...